Hi, welcome to double hashing. Double hashing is one of open addressing technique which is resolving uh, collision uh, issues uh, issues uh, occurring in the hash table. A uh, double hashing applies two hash functions. That's why it is called uh, double hashing. So two number of hash functions will be applied to find out the empty slots. First, it will apply uh, the first hash function to determine the first slot. If first slot is uh, not free, then we will use second hash function to determine the increment for uh, probe sequence. That is I value. Okay, here the has second hash function is used whenever the first uh, first function is uh, um, affect with collision affect with collision so it provides an offset index to store the hash value so here the first hash function is um, h1 of k is calculated by using the input key mod table size m so here as per this one the key uh, mod then table size is 4 then uh, if a slot is not found uh, due to collision then we will apply second hash function the second hash function is having k input key mod p here this is important thing this is the prime number prime number which is less than the table size so look at the table size is here 5 so in the previous prime number to the 5 less than the 5 is 3 so here we have to select the uh, p uh, for this uh, context so we, we should use k mod 3 as a second hash function so here we can use uh, to uh, apply the probe sequence this is h1 of k plus adding the uh, adding the probe sequence i into h2 of k here i is started from the 0 to m minus 1 so we will use two hash functions to uh, pro uh, to find out the free slot if uh, first hash function is unable to find the free slot to store the given input value so initially we will select with the h1 of k if not found we will use the h2 of k mod m and so on right so here i is the non negative number because it is the probe sequence k is input value and there is the possibility of generating m squared number of probe sequences maximum okay maximum it will generate the m squared number of uh, probe sequences the time complexity is order of n that is the table size now uh, i want to store the value 69 72 uh, 79 98 and 14 uh, into the hash table by using double hashing uh, here first hash function is h1 of k equal to k mod 13 what is the 13 here my table size is 13 so that's why i am taking that then second hash function uh, 1 plus k mod 11 so 11 is uh, less than the table size 11 is the immediate prime earlier one earlier one previous number okay smaller number um, first smaller number then the table size 13 so now for uh, uh, searching the index, we will use h of k i equal to h, uh, h1 of k plus i into h2 of k mod the table size 13. So now I want to insert 69. First hash function is the h, uh, k mod 13, so which is giving the 4. So the 69 will be stored at the index number 4, so which is stored now. Then I want to insert 72, 72 mod 13. Uh, which is uh, 7 so now uh, the index number 7 is free so which is stored in the uh, index number 7 then 79 here 79 mod 13 which is 1 so 1 is free which is stored at the uh, index number uh, 1 then next one is 98 
here the 98 mod 13 7 so 7 is already having the value 72 so collision occurs at the index number 7 uh, then we have to use a uh, second hash function uh, which is 1 plus k mod immediate prime uh, smaller prime than the table size 13 so we will apply this uh, 11 so now uh, the as per the equation is here you look at that h1 of uh, k plus i into h2 of k so now h1 of k so k is the input key 98 then uh, probe sequences this one is uh, 1 h2 of uh, k mod 13 as per the equation so now the 7 is identified in this place then we will identify the uh, pro, uh, this one i i uh, i value right i value is now 1 then uh, multiply with the value 1 here plus uh, key 98 mod 11 so now we will uh, calculate the arithmetic calculation here so when you are applying this 11 11 mod 13 uh, here you will get uh, 11 uh, here 11 uh, then here we are having uh, 1 so 11 plus 7 okay 11 plus 7 we are getting the 18 so 18 mod 13 18 mod 13 you will get the 5 so at the index number 5 so 5 is empty now so we can store the 98 at the uh, fifth location so this is the way to apply the double hashing which is avoiding the clustering uh, issues uh, which is um, possible in the linear probing clustering uh, issue and also quadratic probing secondary clustering issue which is avoiding that uh, clustering issue but uh, which is little bit harder to delete an element so when you are uh, when you want to searching the uh, data suppose i want to search the data 72 simply you can use the 72 mod the table size is 13 then uh, you will get the uh, 72 at the index number the remainder value is here 7 so simply you can access the index number 7 and access it suppose i want to access the 0 mod uh, 13 then the this value is 0 so now at the index number 0 we will try to access the value 0 uh, but uh, the it is not found so simply you can say data is not found at the index number uh, 0 that means uh, in the hash table so this is the way to search the value and also for deletion also same thing you will apply if data is found you will delete if data not found um, simply say uh, data not found in the hash table so this is the way to apply the double hashing uh, to uh, insert search and delete the input values from the hash table thanks for watching